Welcome to the home office in the JF-17 Thunder. Now, this Myanmar JF-17 has a bit of a problem. It is currently lost in the Persian Gulf, and it doesn't really have any navigational aids programmed into the aircraft. So, my idea of fun is that we are going to help a brother out. So, we are heading into the cockpit, and we are heading on to the DST, where you have all your navigational data. As you can see, all, the only thing we have is the point we started out from. And to make sure matters do not become worse, we're going to put the aircraft in a shallow turn. So we essentially stay roughly where we are. Now, there are three navigational points that I will uh, esteem to try and teach you. The first one is the navigational points, and they have... All navigational points have numbers, and all points up to 0 to 29 can be used. 0 is usually your home base. But you can uh, program as many as 29 waypoints and switch between them at will. Then you have the route points. The route points are 3, 0 to 3, 5. And the route points are mainly for the cruise missiles. And then you have the pre-planned points, which are uh, 3, 6, to three nine, so route points and pre-planned points can only, and I repeat, can only have four slots. Then again, since they can be reprogrammed at will, or most of their weapons uh, guided in via the targeting pod, that doesn't really matter all that much. But that that is, at any rate, what I am going to try and teach you today. So, let us begin. We will start with the navigational points. And this is very easy. For all navigational inserts, you go to DST. It looks like this, in case you are a political appointee that has never seen the number 4. And you will see that here you have which coordinates you wish to change. So we are gonna make sure that we change coordinate 0, 1. And we will feed the coordinates here. The latitude goes first. So 2, 6, 3, 9, 3, 6. And since there is a... Since it's empty here, you just put a 0 on that. And then you press the left arrow again. Now, if you need to switch between north and south, you can do so with the right arrow. However, since we are the Union Gang and not Dirty Traitorous Confederates, we will stick by the northern side. And then we will do so again with the longitude 055-1618. And then another zero, just because it's empty. And then we will lock it in. And this one is already east, so that should not pose a problem for us. So now, then we click return, and then we click 0, 1 on the display here. And then we can start looking where our new navigational point has shown up, which should be somewhere close to the island of Kishem. So, we will start our turn towards the waypoint. And confirm that the waypoint is indeed somewhere in the vicinity where we have put it. And as you can see, the waypoint has been put down further away than... And as you can see, close to 80 kilometers away. So that would mark it at the outer edge of Keshem as expected. 
So, our good Miranmar jet here is now on its way on its new uh, new waypoint that will eventually take it either to Targets or Bandarlenge Airport where it can go and rest for the night. So that was the navigational points. But of course, now you're asking me But of course, now you're asking me, what if I want to sink ships, but with extra steps? Well, I am so glad you asked, because that's where route points come in. We go to DST4, in case you forgot what it looked like. We go to the number 30, as in 30, and we lock it in, and there is a blank list here. As mentioned before, route points are 30, to three five so uh, we will be locking the coordinates in which will be two six three nine three six zero and then we will be locking in the longitude zero five five one six one eight zero and then we'll lock it in However, in this case, we don't want the missile to fly straight into the ground. So, of course, we are going to add an altitude of 5. Sorry. We are not going to add an altitude of that. 0, 0, 0, 50. And then we have the altitude of 0, 0, 50. So, the uh, missile will now pass the route point uh, at 50 feet. So we will be turning this bird around towards said route point. We will be increasing our speed. And we will set the airplane into the air to ground mode. So we will also be going to control here. And we have now set the TP for number 30. So the missile now knows that it will be cruising towards the point ahead. We will be waiting until we are feet wet, until we are delivering the hardware, so to speak. But we will be using the direct mode here. Uh, program. Direct mode. So once the missile has passed the route point, it should independently seek its target. So we will be increasing our speed. Moving a little bit closer to the relevant And the missile is now away. And we will speed this up a little bit by four times. So the missile is currently heading for the point we designated. A point just outside of Kishem. And once it has traversed that point outside of Kishem, it will proceed towards its primary target. It does the pop-up and if is it going to hit the civilian boat? No, it's not going to hit the civilian boat. It would have been very, very funny had it hit the civilian boat. But no, it's just going to give the civilian boat one heck of a scare. So, that is essentially how you use the route points. If you want your missile to essentially pass through a point, then that is the way to do it. And it is also the easiest way to do it. So... I hope I talked you something about using the route points. Let's move on to the pre-planned points. And just enjoy the smoking ship back there in the distance. So, what if you want to send a warhead straight onto the point itself? Well, pre-planned points got you covered there, fam. You will go to the DST as you have done once before. 
you will choose point three six, and you will enter it, and then you will go latitude first two, six three, eight one zero zero, and that go that brings us to uh, the north one, as usual. We do not do the south one at this time. Of course, your coordinates may differ, but this is the Union Gang, and here we have the North. So, then we fill in the longitude, which is 5518100. And then we have the longitude coordinates. Then we will switch to the air to ground mode, and we will switch to the pre plan mode on the LS6. And we will see exactly where we are supposed to drop the bomb. Because the pre-planned point will be showing up on your HUD. So the pre-planned point is somewhere in that town. That sounds good to me. Dropping a glide bomb into a town. I don't see really how we could go wrong doing such a thing. So, we will continue to fly until we reach the proper point there. We will also double check that we are on channel 36, meaning that the weapon will actually go to the location we have specified. So, we will speed this airplane up a little, little bit. And we will try to trim her out to balance the off weight of the uneven cargo. So we are closing in on the drop location, which is fairly short because we are currently flying fairly low. So while climbing, we will lock in the autopilot. We will look down at the place we will deliver precision munitions and release. And just like before, we will be speeding up the action a little bit by about four times. And that bastard who spied at the airfield is no more. Well, that should conclude this little tutorial in regards to the pre-planned point the uh, route points and the navigational points. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, the main difficulty does not lie in entering the points and then attacking the points themselves. The biggest difficulty that I personally encounter while doing this is locating the exact coordinates that you are supposed to attack. And yeah. That is not really a problem that is going away. But as long as you have the coordinates, at least now you know how to use them. So I hope you are well, and I will see you in the next tutorial.